Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my new vlog. Um, today's video is gonna be, if you guys know, if you guys can see on my title, I'll uh, put a uh, motor mount on my car. Cause my car make a lot of torque and I need to put new motor mounts. And plus, I need it to my, I need it from my tune. So, yeah. Cause I've been driving my car with the stock motor mount and you can tell, well, I can tell what's, there's something wrong with it. So, today's videos, I'm going to show you guys how to put it. Well, not really, but, but yeah, the car is, is over there. And now I have to just lift it and remove the panels and put my tools over there. So, you guys ready? Let's do it. But before I do that, um, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you to so my supporters. Thank you all of my subscribers that stay. Thank you guys so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now and drop a like. Please, it'll help me and it will help my girlfriend's car. But I already, already ordered some motor mounts for her car. So, if you guys subscribe and help me, the nicer her car will be. So, yep. So right now, I already racked the car up. Nice and beautiful. But, as you guys can see, I already bring this to Ford back, it's still leaking oil. Come on Ford. Oh wow. So, this is the morning month I'm gonna put. I bought the CPE Stage 2 motor mount. So this is the tool that you're going to need. First, you're going to need a cor um, Torque uh, T27. And I got the quarter inch ratchet. You're going to need a 3 8 ratchet. You're going to need a 15 wrench for the downpipe on the back side. Um, you're gonna need a 15 socket, 15 millimeter socket, deep one, and a short one. And then you're gonna need a 19 millimeter, a 13, and a 3 8 gun. Pretty much that's all you need to do this job. So. Yep. So right now I'm just gonna move the panel. There's okay. And um, the tool that you're gonna use is TP27 torque. After you remove all the screws, there's gonna be like three more screws. So, to remove the motor mounts. Oh shit. Oh. So, to remove the motor mounts, you have to take off the 
the downpipe, um, how do you call this? Downpipe holder or something like that that holds the downpipe. And then there's gonna be one, two, or oh, I missed, there's one bolt here, but. And then there's the one behind over here that holds it, so that one's gonna pain in the butt. And after that, after you move the dump pipe, the whole, well, whatever it's called, that holds the dump pipe. You have to remove this one right here, this one right here, and then you have to remove this one. As you guys can see, I already removed the the bracket to hold the dump pipe. So now I have to remove this bowl right here. And then I think there's another bolt down there. See that? And then this one right here and this one right here. And after that, I can put the new one. So So already finished and removed the old um, stock motor mounts. This is how they look like. So see, this one has like rubber all over it. The new one has only like solid like metal. So time to put the new ones and we'll see from there. So we're gonna put the new ones now. So be careful when you're putting it because sometimes people get confused this this thing right here they get flipped so when you try to put the bolts there's something right here this thing blocks it so right there this bolt is blocking this way so you can't put the bolt so be careful be careful you're gonna put the CPE one because you don't want to like tight this one first keep this one loose so you can like move this one around you know what I'm saying and yes See you guys up there. And um, for this one, you have to torque it to 85 foot pounds. Um, but usually, I just go like 90. So right now, just 
gonna torque this one. Right there, 85. I swear to God, like you're always gonna be finished and there's gonna be a one thing every on your way. So it's shaking. It's pretty normal for um, if you have a steel motor mounts, the car will shake pretty bad. So right now I'm just cruising. Um, yep, there's a big difference of having a solid motor mounts and a stock motor mounts. And yep, there's a big difference. If you guys love NOS, I love you guys too. Um, thank you guys for making the end of my video. Hopefully, I help you guys to, you know, give some knowledge. But I don't know. So, if you guys like the video, please give me a like. And thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys if you guys made it to my end of my video. If you guys want more content on my car and to go sell car, my girlfriends, please, please help me. Subscribe to my channel, share this video, make it viral so I can get money and we can buy more parts. So it's a win-win, you know. I'll help her, help me, and help you guys get entertained. So if you guys want to cop some stickers, I still have some more and I'm going to release more on Friday. So please, if you guys want to cop more, let me know. Just, I'll put the link down below in the description. And yes. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you guys have a great day and keep working hard and be humble.